Hey, welcome back. We've got some chores to do today with the 4720. We've had a break in the weather, so I want to get to it, but we got a couple boxes here I want to show you really quick. I'm excited to crack them open, see what's inside. So these guys are the tractor mat, and if you follow me on social media, on Facebook, or the YouTube community tab, I posted about these recently. These are for cab tractors and gators as well. If you're familiar with WeatherTech, well, this is gonna be a similar product for the tractor world. So these are 3D engineered, okay? They're custom form, custom fit to your tractor, to the floorboards in there. Gonna have a nice lip on the end. Let's crack them open, take a look. For those of you that didn't know, we have a discount club, so to speak. So a lot of vendors out there, products that we don't wanna completely stock every make and model and option that they have, so we work with these vendors so that you can buy directly from them. You enter a code, typically GWT for Good Works Tractors. You're gonna save 5%, sometimes more off your order. We'll get a commission. They'll ship the product right to you. Oh, sweet. Holy smokes, that was super easy. Now that's pretty sweet. Obviously, we gotta clean off our floorboards, but I wanted to do a little test fit to see how it slid in there and it just dropped right in place. So a piece of cake, very easy. Obviously, a lot of you guys, myself included, use these in our trucks and our cars and everything else. And so it's nice to have an option here, again, right? Sometimes you're okay with things being dirty, but if you wanna have it clean, it's nice to have a good option to quickly pick out all that dirt and buildup that you have on the floorboards clean it out put it right back in all right we came over by the tractors because we got something else in here too i'm not sure Oop, caught my cord i'm not sure if this is uh for the 4720 or the kubota guess we'll find out now some tractors are going to have factory mats in there which some are okay and some Leave a lot to be desired. Try this like this. Here we go. We got oh oh we have three mats in here. Look at that. I think what we have going on we've got this boy right here. I believe is for the 4720. This bigger guy here is gonna be for the Kubota, the M4, which right now this is their M5 and M6 mat. The M4, I guess, requires a little cutout, but um, they're starting to fill out their lineup. I put a survey out there on uh, YouTube, on the community tab the other day, asking if you guys would want these for open station tractors. You know, I think, for me, I would buy one for an open station tractor. Uh, some tractor models don't even have any kind of a mat on there at all, it's just the painted steel, and so once that wears through, it kind of looks well, it's unprotected and it looks, you know, not great. So if you can put a floor mat on there, that's nice. You know, they can help provide a little cushion, but they're gonna keep all that dirt. Like on my 1025R, man, I swear there's nooks and crannies all over that thing for dirt to build up in. So if you can have a mat that was sitting right on there, just something easy to clean it off of, I don't know, I think that's worth the money for me. All right, so that big black one on the bottom there is for the gator bed. And you know, you gotta take Real special care of the gator. It does not like to be pushed to the limits. Or work too hard. So anything you can do to make life a little easier for the gator, trust me, you want to do it. Now these really need to kind of roll out. Probably should let them sit in the sun. We have a nice day today. Sunshine coming. You can see though, it's a good fit in here. I think after it has some time to kind of get rid of that memory, it'll be better. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay these out, let them kind of unwind, unravel before we put them in the tractors and back here in the gator. But tractormat.com, save 5% with code GWT. You just go right to their website, place your order. A bunch of models right now, but a bunch more coming. They have a lot of them in development. So if you have a model that you want one for, the only way they know is if you reach out and let them know. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, look at that right there. Another made in the USA product. Always nice to see that. All right, so yeah, we're using the 4720 again today. I'm, I'm struggling to say goodbye. 
I don't really know if I want to list it for sale or not right now. I've got a lot of projects still to do and it's just so handy. I got the big Kubota M4 for a lot of the field work to tackle, but there's a lot of applications when a hydro is just really handy to have. So today we're cleaning up this area and so we're just coming off the road where you have to swing really wide with a truck and a trailer to get in here. It's just a really awkward setup that they have uh, out here on the, on the street. And so we cleared this out, brush mulched it out here a little while ago. I want to use the rake to get as much of the debris off the top that I can. Now previously, and if it were a little drier out, I would hook up the tiller and then really till up all this topsoil and then just scoop it out and it'd be ready to go to use it somewhere else. But given how wet it is, I'm gonna try to use the box blade. We, just, we still need to get a lot of that topsoil out of here, but use the box blade, get it into piles and scoop it up with the bucket and then just take it out. The next step after that will be to come in and lay down a lot more gravel, we'll be good to go. I'm also gonna give this a shot today. I did a little test strip, but we're gonna see how this rake does resurfacing a driveway. You know, I really like any time I have a rake on the back of my tractor. The, the biggest downfall is that there's not a lot of ballast weight here, but I do have loaded tires, triple stack of wheel weights on, but it's a very handy tool when you need it. Well, we're gonna get to work. These rakes are something that we sell, all right? We sell tractor attachments, ship them all over the country. Just look on our website, Good Works Tractors. Dirt Dog is made in America all sorts of different size attachments on there to fit your machine. They're also quick hitch compatible. This is a Spico quick hitch, the only quick hitch for category one tractors that does not use bushings. So you can check this out. You save a lot of money not having to put those big collars on each one of your attachments. Again, these are another product that we sell. We actually wrap them and ship them UPS ground. So check out goodworkstractors.com.
well. We didn't quite get to the box blading today, but you know what? I had a good time. Once I hop on the tractor, this was the first time on a tractor in four or five days, so I was in a bit of a drought there. So this felt good. You know, it's a beautiful day, mid-December, riding around on the tractor, had the landscape rake on. Things went well today. They went very well. So we did a really good job prepping, getting most. There's a few sticks here and there. I'll just go through, hand pick those up. But uh, really ready to get the box blade in here and rip that up and get that topsoil out of here. It's going to be all clumpy and nasty. It's going to be kind of a messy job. But um, while we had the rake on, we resurfaced a good chunk of this driveway too. And wow, that worked really well. I wasn't expecting those kinds of results. Now it's good to have another tool in your arsenal. And for me, I would still pick a land plane uh, overall if I want to get one tool to help maintain my driveway. However, a rake, this can be more multi-purpose, you know, whereas a land plane or a land leveler is going to be very specific to grading out a driveway. But if you're using your rake for other purposes and want to do a decent grade, I don't think this would be fantastic where it's really super rutted out and you have to get it all uh, reclaimed and, and leveled back out. But for a nice easy grade resurfacing you can see all the gravel that got brought right back up to the surface which is nice i am really impressed and, and once i got going i didn't want to stop so that's going to wrap it up for us today stay tuned for a future video continuing this expansion here we have to do a um, a turnaround area up there as well again if you're looking for a new attachment for your tractor maybe one of these landscape brakes a spico quick hitch a grapple a bucket all sorts of stuff that we sell for tractors and we ship it all over the country you got to check out our website, goodworkstractors.com. Free shipping to 36 states. We only have to charge sales tax in a handful of states as well. All sorts of new products coming online all the time. Subscribe to our channel to see more. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Okay.